If someone asks me to share a single tip that can help them skyrocket in their career, not only software engineering or data science career, but pretty much any career, then based on my 17 years of experience dealing with so many successful professionals and managers, the single tip would be do your job as if it is your own company. Unfortunately, the problem with today's workforce is that they suffer from employee syndrome problem. Let's say you get hired as a software engineer in a company. Now you start thinking that I'm being paid to do this coding work nine to six, and that's all you focus on. We should focus on thinking out of the box, going above and beyond our role, finding out issues in the organizations. And I would like to share a real life example here. My brother has a software company called Atlic Technologies who develops mobile and web applications and they provide digital marketing services. They hired this intern, software engineering intern two years back. His name is Karan. He joined the company as an intern, started coding and he realized some issues with the process in his team. He made suggestions on the improvements. He talked to his seniors, figured out solution for those process issues. Then he went one step further and he started contributing in the hiring process. He started working on academic relationships and so on. He was hired as a software engineering intern. If he thought his job is just to write code and did not go above and beyond, then he would not have made a progress. What happens with him is within six months after joining the company full time, he becomes an engineering manager. And after two years, he becomes a partner in the company. He skyrocketed in his career and if we can learn one thing from his successful journey is that we should work with an entrepreneur mindset and work in a team as if that team is a small startup that you're running. And if you're interacting with business manager or some other teams, think about that you are owning that small startup and that other team that you're dealing with is maybe some other company or other vendor. Okay, and if you deal with that kind of mindset, what happens is in your team, your boss, your colleagues will recognize your solutions. So when your boss and his skip level are thinking about next promotion, your name will pop up in the list of candidates because you're not doing just your job, but you're going above and beyond. There were some other folks who joined with Karan and they left the company because uh, they were married to a problem, not the solutions. So when you are working in a startup and you see a lot of issues, you know, they kept on complaining about these problems, but they never took interest in solving them. They left the company, maybe they got a job as a, you know, with job with higher compensation, but they're still working as software engineers, whereas uh, Karan is a engineering manager, he, he's a partner. So, and I've seen so many such success stories throughout my life where with a correct mindset uh, you can you know boost your career many times people argue that i don't have time you know i have so much coding work i cannot focus on other things but be a little creative there are always the ways that you can make an impact and making impact doesn't mean you have to work you know 24 hours you can work little creatively and focus on impactful work and still create a huge impact uh, in the team so that you're going above your role a little bit and you are making that contribution. Now one common other argument that I hear is, I work for a big company and it's hard to change the culture. My boss is totally unreasonable. And I totally see your point. I mean, you all have good argument here, but think about this. If you're not happy with your job, why don't you change the company? Why don't you leave that company? People will say, no, I cannot change the company because my family relies on my, my, my salary. You know, I'm not in a situation I can just leave my job. All right, poor, helpless fellow, do this. You work in that company for next five years and also you keep on complaining. It's not gonna help anyone. Correct. Either you stop complaining or you take some action. And if that action is, oh, I cannot change this company, then try to 
you know bring a change in the culture in the in the organization and these changes are possible it might take some time some afford you will get maybe rejections you know like out of 10 times let's say nine times you get rejection but one time you might get a success so when you're working with uh, this em entrepreneur mindset in any team the challenge is you don't have the authority right you're not the boss and you're trying to run that team as if or you're trying to work in that team as if you are an entrepreneur and there will be challenges but those challenges can be addressed without hurting someone's ego without having an authority it is still possible to bring a change in the culture in the processes within the organizations so if you work with this entrepreneur mindset and if you work in any company with the spirit that i am the owner of the company trust me your career will skyrocket and i have seen this common theme talking with so many of my friends who are entrepreneurs who are managers you know leading big teams and they say that it is very rare to find this skill where you can find a person who has a lot of accountability who takes ownership in a lot of things so i hope you find this video useful and let me know what are your thoughts on on this advice and if you have seen any su success stories of people who took the ownership and they made a lot of progress in their career please share in the video comments below